New updates tonight in a story that we have been following for you all week. Ten dogs died after a wall of water at the district dogs boarding facility collapsed and water rushed in. Tonight, nearly a week later, those families still need answers. Leslie Moreno spoke with one of those owners tonight. It's been nearly a week since flood waters rushed through the building, knocking down a wall, trapping employees and dogs inside. I just spoke to the Humane Rescue Alliance. They tell me they've reached out to all pet owners and they've all made arrangements for their dogs. Everyone except one family that's been out of town. The HRA says all pet parents are allowed to see their pet remains if they wish. I spoke to Jocelyn. She lost her dog Mona last week. She says there's still a lot of confusion on the timeline of events that Monday. She wants to know whether her dog was in a crate and why she was covered in blood. Um, I've only heard bits and pieces from different places of like what what was happening. Um, so that's what I really want to know from him. I really want to know what happened. How did it escalate so quickly? Um, how did so many dogs get saved, but 10 of them didn't? Part of me thinks that she may have been crated um, and was fighting for her life. Um, and that's why he wouldn't let me see her because of course, if she was fighting, then there would be further injuries. Um, I can't imagine that if she had just drowned that it would have been so gruesome. There is an investigation underway to determine how long it took first responders to reach district dogs, employees and pets. Earlier this week, council member Zachary Parker said his office was investigating DC's Office of Unified Communications about possible delayed response that cost rescuers valuable time. After several attempts, DC's Office of Unified Communications has not provided WUSA 9 with a timeline of events and officials are unable to confirm at what time DC Fire and EMS were able to enter district dogs. The city administrator says an investigation is underway and a copy of those transcripts will be made available in terms of when that will be still no answer in Northeast DC. Les Moreno, WUSA 9.